ओके राइट मी अ स्क्रिप्ट फॉर ए आई वीडियो Now, ever since ChatGPT, everyone is like AI this, AI that. Like we have robots to clean your room, self-driving cars, and virtual assistant that tells you jokes. Like, okay, Google, tell me a joke. Chintu to his mother, Amma, can I watch more TV? Amma, only if you don't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. Those are all dad jokes. And yeah, some people might say they are even funny. But you know what the crazy part is? This portion of the script was written by AI. So just like ChatGPT, I'll tell you about seven more AI tools that you can use for free. Oh, seven more AI tools that you can use for free. So stay tuned till the end. Let's go. And before we begin, link to all the AI websites will be in the description. Now, number one has to be Google Bard. Google Bard is Google's answer to ChatGPT, and now it is available for everyone to use. Number one, Bard has access to the internet, so you can ask Bard for the latest information, and it will give you up-to-date answer. Like, see here, if I ask ChatGPT which is the best smartphone camera in 2023, see the answer. It says my information cutoff date is 2021, and now I'll do the same with Google Bard. And see, it says the best smartphone camera is the S23 Ultra. Google preferring Samsung over the Pixel. Wow. Number two, since Bard has access to the internet, you can provide Bard with an article link and ask it to summarize the entire article in simple words. It does it with ease, and this will save so much time. And also, whenever Bard gives an answer, you can directly import your answer to Google Docs or just draft it in Gmail. And many more features like asking Bard to generate images or providing Bard an image and asking it to generate a Instagram caption. All of this is coming later this year, so the AI war is on. Also, do note that ChatGPT also has access to the internet, but it is for the paid variant. Next up, we have is Video dot AI, and this is for all the. Fellow content creators out there, so this website can convert your full-length YouTube video into 60-second shorts in just a few clicks. Here, let me show you. Now you can either directly give the YouTube link or upload the full res file from your computer. Select the aspect ratio. I'll go with this. And here is the best part. It will also auto-generate captions for you. Now, if you want, you can also add your YouTube and Instagram handle. Take some time to process, and boom. See, it has created segments for the entire video. So suppose I click on RAM. Here, it has made an edit for the portion where I speak of RAM. So cool. Now there are two things to remember. Number one, in our testing, sometimes the framing is a bit off, so you will have to manually adjust the framing. And number two, you get only 75 minutes in free mode. For perspective, if TechWiser video is like seven minutes, so we can create shorts for ten such videos. It's a really handy tool for content creators. I'll give this a solid nine out of ten. Next up, we have Beat Oven. Hmm. OP wordplay. You have beat and oven, and it sounds like Beethoven, the legendary composer. All hail! So this website uses AI to generate royalty-free music, so no more copyright strikes. Feel you. Let me show you. So you go to this website, create new track. I'll name it Beats with Pratik because why not? For two minutes, fast tempo. Now I have to select the genre of music I want. Let's go with electronic and energetic. And after a while. It's done. See here on the top right, it's giving me alternative tracks which are similar to this one. If I want, I can even edit the song. But the question is, can I use this music for YouTube? Let's test it out. So now I have uploaded this video file with the audio to YouTube, and so you can see there is no copyright strike as of yet. And if you put copyrighted material, it says this video has been blocked. So. Yeah, it's public. Everyone can see this video. Now the only thing is that their music collection is limited as of now, but I'll give this a solid eight out of ten. Okay, this next one is pretty cool. See this picture of the cold drink? I made this entirely using AI. So go to Flare.ai, drag and drop your image. It will ask you to remove the background, add like a one-word prompt of what the image is, and that's it. See on the left, you have a lot of templates to choose from. I'll go with the mountain one. Hit generate, and just there you have it. And the best part is no watermark, no copyright, nothing. So if you're a freelancer or a graphic designer, you can give Flare a shot. Now the picture quality could have been better, but I won't complain since it is free. Easy seven out of ten. Okay, so this one is a really fun AI website. See this cute picture of cat? Believe it or not, I drew this. Impossible. I did, and I did it in less than five minutes. Let me show you my good talent. Okay, so you go to this website, Scribble Diffusion. Here you can basically scribble anything. So I'll just draw this scenery, like 
most common school scenery ever. I bet nine out of ten people have tried to draw this once in their life. Next, write a sentence describing the picture and then go. Wow, this is actually a good picture. Okay, can I try? Sure, sure. Uh, okay, so let me draw a photo of a cat. Hang on. That's ambitious. You're drawing a cat. <laughs> So, consider this as a photo of a cat. Let's see what the yeah, it does. Hang on. And I'll write a photo of a dog. Cross breeding in the actually cute. That's cute. It's like a cat in a dog's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has a dog face and it has a cat body. <laughs> So how much would you rate it? Uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Next up, and this is epic. Okay, so we all know about object eraser, but that you can do only in images. But now you have object eraser for videos as well. So runway.ml is an online video editor with AI functionality. So see here under AI magic tools, you have tons of options. Like you can remove background from your video, blur out faces in a video, remove silences, everything. So I have a video of me walking in the park and there is this ugly trash can in the background. Now all I have to do is drag and drop the video, select in painting and now I can simply use the brush to paint the trash can and it will frame by frame remove the trash can from the entire video. Plus even if the camera is not static, it automatically tracks the position and continues to erase the dustbin for the entire video. Now the only challenge is if the movement is too much, you will have to keep erasing after a few frames and fine tune it a little bit. Also runway.ml has just launched on iOS and on Android Android, as of now, you can only use it via the browser. So maybe in future we can expect an Android app. The only catch is runway.ml in free mode only allows you to have three projects. So you will have to keep deleting previous projects and continue. 8 out of 10, really handy for video editors. Okay, next up we have Tom. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Tom? Tomi? Tome? Tom. Hmm, Tom. And this is for all you students, teachers and working professionals. You can create presentation by just giving a single prompt. Let me show you. So you have to go to Tome, hit create and now here just type in what you want. So suppose I type presentation on solar system. See it has created several slides. There is one for the intro, one for summary and everything. So basically it uses ChatGPT to create the entire text description and uses DALI 2 to generate these images. Of course you can edit the images and text as well. Okay, let me try another one. Summarize the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wow, this is good. See, it listed down all the MCU phases. There are also different color themes here, so you can just change them as per your liking. Very handy for making presentations or deck. The only problem is exporting the presentation to PDF is paid, but this tool is so good, it's worth mentioning. Solid 8 out of 10. So yeah, that was the video. Now there is a saying that is going around the internet like AI will replace humans. Well, if you remember in the intro, I had used ChatGPT to write a portion of it. So I believe that AI will not replace humans, but humans using AI will definitely replace them. Let that sink in. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew. AI, AI, AI.